picture anymore, but you can still sub. So you're still waiting on what news and yeah. how your job is going to be come August. Absolutely. I mean, that was another thing yesterday as we got back together, you know, we were having kind of our coaches meeting before we started with the kids and kind of going over some of the last minute guidelines. And, you know, I asked them, I said, Hey, do you guys know what the fall is going to look like yet? Are we going to have in-person school? Are we not? They still don't know. They said, you know, Shawnee mission will hopefully send them something this week. Once the district has made a decision, then, you know, obviously then I'll, I'll be able to find out kind of where I stand, but, yeah, plan it by year. July yeah, really. thirty, July thirty first will tell a lot. Austin and Gary. I mean, um, I think that's when they have to make a decision by yeah. the first of August, and so we will we will know more. But the the hearsay and the rumors and and the theories and everything. Oh else, yeah, the think tanks will be going until then. But until then, we we will not know. Yeah, just, just wait like and, you know, I mean, uh, one thing that kind of bothers me is just that that keisha has been very quiet on what the plan is you know i, I wish they would say like here's at Misha, least like, at least to the coaches well misha said you it's know, up here's to the county options. and the school yeah so i don't know um i just want to have a season i want to have a fall i want to have a life back yeah i want to have a job back exactly i want you know you to be able to broadcast <laughs> games soccer yeah. and and everything else you do in the fall football Friday nights and we did have 200 teams I think here in the arena um, this past uh, weekend with the uh, with the uh, AAU stuff. Cool. Um, yeah, that's cool. So you know things, you know, this is not an 18,000 seat arena anymore. It's about a 9,000 seat arena. But in order for it to exist, like everything else in the sports entertainment restaurant world, Austin works at a restaurant. We got to have people. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, for sure. And I know, I know you you said something the other day that you guys had your busiest day since COVID. Yeah, it was, yeah, well, most say, sales. Yeah, yeah. So we have we had our busiest day since COVID started, and really, year over year, we're we're only down. I think it was like no, actually, year over year that day we were we were up, and so even the dynamic as far as my work's changed is that uh, everybody's used to to go stuff, and everybody's getting used to. Uh, not having like a totally full restaurant and so, and then everybody else like we got rid of so we got rid of the pagers we switched to a tablet we get your phone number we text you so that's actually changed too because the little pagers probably you know they help spread that spread covid a little bit if we're doing that so we just text you so actually uh actually as, as far as efficiency stuff is this has actually helped us out as far as margins and stuff like that so kind of the opposite side but i've also been uh, much busier and i've worked a lot more hours uh, than I have in like the previous years, so Whoa, a little bit crazy. So we everybody kind of wants to get back to normal and get stuff going on. So it's just all about trying to figure out the safest way to do it. Um, so we're getting there. Um, so kind of switch subject. We'll kind of wrap up here a little bit. Okay. There is one big thing everybody needs to watch out for. What's that? It's for tomorrow is July fifteenth, which is deadline time for franchise tag players. Oh, yeah. Which means the Chiefs have about. 48 hours, 48 hours, whatever it is. No, end like of end of tomorrow night. 18 hours, something like that. End of tomorrow. Well, no, tomorrow night. Or they, they can do it tomorrow. It's like tomorrow right? at 4. Tomorrow at 4? Okay. So, to it's get like a hours. deal done with Chris Jones, um, with the with the Mahomes deal, they actually have the cap space to do this. It's all about if they actually want to lock another major player down for that long. If they decide to trade him, I actually wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised either way. Um I was thinking he had signed his tag. He has not signed his franchise tag. I thought he had. Mm. Uh, I looked that up. So he because he he wants to get a long term deal done. Uh, but the Chiefs have been as far as uh, getting this deal done. They have always said they wanted to get a Mahomes deal done first, and then start working on Chris Jones. So maybe see something on Twitter here within the next you know few hours about the Chiefs locking down Chris Jones. I'm in favor of it. I think it's actually going to happen. So we'll see. Dak Prescott's in the same boat, but I think. I think that ship might have sailed, and they may end up. Yeah, Dak, Dak just may end up playing franchise tag. Yeah, I, I, I've said all along. I thought he'd play under the tag, and um, it kind of did come out yesterday that Dak, there were no planned talks between Dak's agent and so the done. Cowboys before Wednesday's deadline at four four p.m. I think that's four p.m. Eastern, so, so <clears throat> was three o'clock our time, but three o'clock here. Okay, um, but yeah, so I, th I think that you know Dak's just going to play under the tender and. 
Chris Jones, you said it, he's not signed his, so we'll we'll see. Yeah, he wants a long term deal. Kind of what happens there if you know, I mean he still has the ability to sign it up until, you know, three o'clock. So Yeah, you know, what happens if they don't sign? What is that? They, they don't sign, they just have to sit out. They just sit out. Yep. And eventually they, can they still sign it but they start they start losing money at this point? Is I, that I don't know. Works? I can't remember. I, have to look I don't that remember up, how that works exactly. I would expect a deal to get done here within the next like I said, eighteen hours or whatever. So Yeah. That's big time. Other than yep. that, not much, not much else is going yeah, on. Yeah, not much else. Well, you, here's one. What's up? Patrick Mahomes made <coughs> cover GQ. Oh, yeah. He's oh, I, saw cover that, GQ. I saw that today. GQ yeah. guy, you got GQ guy. He got, he's in the Madden 99 club now. He's a 99 He's got a overall. pinky ring on. Huh? He's got a pinky ring on in the picture. <sighs> he's, big, he's big time now. Big time. Big time guy. Big time money big man time. now. So that's good. I will say, um, you know, don't forget DJ Showtime. He did a couple events last week uh, that I saw on his Facebook. Good. So, Glad to see him back out. Yeah, he's back yeah. out working a little bit. So he's back out working a little bit. So hopefully he's going to pay us soon. <laughs> you know. right. We'll see. Uh, no, but uh, hit him up on his phone, 816-260-2056, or his Instagram, DJ KC Showtime. He – is an awesome DJ. I know we give him a hard time on social media, but he yeah, really great. does a good job uh, at, at, at as a DJ. So, and he can do any kind of event. Uh, you know, if it's even if you're maybe a coach or an AD listening, and you have a school dance that you're going to do this fall, that's going to be social distanced. How does uh, that he, work? He could do it. I don't know how would you dance with somebody social distancing. I don't know. It's like the old like, when I used to make fun of the the homeschooled. It's homeschool dance. Homeschool dance. Dance, dance, dance apart. Yeah, no grinding. Apart. Like hey, <laughs> no grinding. Yeah, no, no, definitely. That's no a good thing, though. That's no good grinding, thing. sir. What's like? What's like? Well, I'm, uh, I don't know if I've ever been grinding. Ooh. <laughs> okay. And on that note, uh, I am Gary. This is Austin. We are Midwest Mics. Ryan's up there behind the scenes. Jim's behind the mic and the camera. Also, thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks again to our guest, Jeff Montgomery. Royals Hall of Famer.